Hey, what's up guys, Avery here and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about 10 things that you should know in preparing for final year at UITM Sha'alam Law School. Without more being said, let's jump in to number one, and that is wearing black and white every single day. Eventually in final year, you will have to wear black and white every single day. From your suit, to your blazer, to your tie, your shirt, your pants, your shoes, your belt, and everything. Everything has to be in black and white. You can't have any bright colored ties. Your shirt can't be gray in color. It has to be the mandatory black and white. It's obligatory or not. You might have lectures coming at you and asking, why aren't you wearing black and white properly? And you might get scolded on the spot or reprimanded by the lecture. Number two is that you will be divided into classes and firms. And in these classes and firms, it will be permanent for the next two semesters. So in final year, there are two semesters, semester seven or part seven and part eight. Those two semesters are for your final year. And you'll be seeing the same person, the same people, the same group mates or fur mates for the next two semesters. And of course, and indeed, you can't choose your fur mates. Of course, there will be drama. There will be a lot of, you know, some people are incompatible with other people. But it is what it is. Personally, I don't feel that attached to my firmates, but in the end, I still have to work with them regardless if I'm their friends or not, because I have to maintain this sort of working environment and still try to get the thing, try to get things done and work done. Because in real life and in the working world, we won't be able to work with the people that we prefer, and we will be working with very random, very, very random people in law firms and in-house and any other place or companies that we are going to work with. Also, you do not have to register for your classes. It's automatic. You'll be assigned, for example, for group B. So you'll be in group B for part seven, part eight throughout the whole final year. And all you have to do is just register the courses on UFuture with the same subjects, with the same class. And you do not have to berubot or you do not have to compete with other people to register different classes. Number three is carpe diem. What is carpe diem? Carpe diem means to live the moment. And carpe diem is usually done in part seven, early part seven, where all the classes will perform and conduct performances or dances together. So each class will do their own performances while all the classes are watching. It goes on into a very long turn. So it's it starts off with perhaps randomly group D and then group L will be doing the next performance and it goes on and goes on. And the purpose of doing Carpe Diem is supposedly a tradition of UI Tansha Alam Law School in order for us to foster and create stronger bondship between the students. So yeah, that's the purpose of Carpe Diem. And there are a lot of themes from K-pop to Bollywood to pop music and traditional Malay dances. So you will be training and practicing these dances and showcasing your skills and talents in front of a large aud audience in the auditorium room. Number four, where is the professional year or the final year building located? It's located at the Al-Farabi building in contrast to the Chimpaka buildings because the Chimpaka buildings are for junior law students between part one to part six. And it's the Al-Farabi building is where the part eight and part seven students are located at. So you might want to start parking around those areas and it might be very tiring and fatiguing because you will have to walk up a very tall steep to reach the Al-Farabi building, especially if you're walking from Perindu. It's quite a challenging to walk to the Al-Farabi building, especially there are a lot of floors up till the seventh floor. Number five is that in part in final year, most of your assignments are usually group work and firm work, and it involves a lot of paperwork and documents, as well as oral assignments, such as going to the moot court. So unlike in part one and part six, where most of the assignments are just individual work and group, group work with random people, this time you have to do most of your work based on real life legal documents, such as form 14A and form 16A, and legal documents when applying for divorce and trust or getting or preparing will. Your assignments are actually based on real life documents that you have to fill as if you are a real lawyer and you will have a Viva assignment where you will answering questions related to the documents that you prepared. And you will also be doing actual real life lawyer things such as going to court and actually presenting and submitting at a moot court in front of your lecturers who are your judges. Number six, there will be a lot of new statutes that you will have to use. One of the most common and frequently used statutes or documents or legal 
documents will be the Rules of Court 2012, the Criminal Procedure Code, using a lot of the Legal Profession Act as well. So these are some of the notable new statutes that you will have to buy in your final year. And your table, which is looks like a cubicle, inside a class you will be staying in a class in a cubicle and you will have to put and stack your law books in a large pile or in a large, like a, large, a very long, long susunan like that. Number seven is that there is a possibility that your classes will end very, very late at night. There are classes which end your classes at 9 p.m. and you have to come to class all the way starting at 8, 8 a.m. in the morning. So imagine having a full day packed of classes from 8 a.m. until 9 p.m. It's going to take a lot, a lot of your precious own personal time, but there are classes which ends at 9 p.m. very late at night. Also, in final year, part seven and part eight, please do take note that you should not only focus on your academics, only in class environment or just staying in class all the time. Because in part seven and part eight, well, it is indeed true that you are busy and you are too occupied with a lot of work in final year. Join other activities and programs outside your class. Join curricular activities and stay active because once you graduate, you do not want to have your employers or people that is hiring you seeing that you are only focused in class. But you want to have your resume filled with other activities as well. So try to balance that and make the most of your final year by balancing between your academics and curricular activities. Number nine is in relation to number eight, you, you will also have to start researching and planning your life ahead. In part seven and part eight, start finding which firm you want to apply to, which company you want to work with, and where do you want to do your pupillage and chambering. Do research on the firms and companies. Look at who are the boss, who are you going to work with, how is your work culture, what is the department or niche area they are they're focusing on, so that there are higher chances for you to apply for these companies or firms later once you graduate. Because final year is more about you now preparing to enter into the work-life environment. <laughs> Number 10, and finally, you will have to prepare in terms of your punch card. I should have mentioned this earlier, but in final year, there is a punch card system where you have to come to law school early at 8 a.m. just to punch in your card, even though you don't even have class at 8 a.m. And you have to punch out your card at 5 p.m later by the end of the day. One example is this one. This is how the punch card looks like in final year. So yeah, you have to punch in your card at 8 a.m. and then punch out at 5 p.m. every single day. Regardless if you have class early in the morning at 8 a.m. or not, you still have to do it. That is all that i like to share in this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it has been very helpful for you. And to get a better picture, a bright picture on how life will be in final year of law school UITM Shalom. Please do let me know in the comment section below if you have any further questions and I will be more than glad to help you guys in answering them. Till then, Ever 313 signing out and see you guys till then. Thank you.